25th year that we have uh, inducted uh, athletes and uh, administrators from across the state and really the state of Virginia takes a backseat to no state when it comes to producing great uh, sports figures so we're really proud of not only this class but all of our inductees. Oh I mean it's it's really cool I, I mean I always tell people when Eddie called me you know I thought it was you know I knew it's a non-profit I thought maybe he's looking for some donations from Richmond looking for some fundraising help and you know which would be awesome and I'd love to help with that um, when he said that I'd been accepting you know I quickly went to see there's only three other sides Soccer, you know, two coaches and Angela got in last year. Um, so, you know, certainly there's a lot more important, better, uh, more impressive soccer people than me. I can certainly attest to that. Um, I'm not sure why they're not in here, but whoever was my champion um, in the in the back room trying to help us out, I'm so grateful and thankful, and I want to be a great ambassador. And really, you know, with with the explosion of soccer, you know, hopefully there'll be more soccer people in here that you know are certainly worthy of the honor. Uh, we won the Super Bowl, Super Bowl Five in 1970. Uh, we played the Dallas Cowboys and we beat them 16-13. And I guess you would look at it and that'd be the highlight of my career uh, because most people that, that play any type of sports, uh, the ultimate goal is to win the championship. And so I was fortunate enough to win the championship with the Baltimore Colts. It's, it's a great honor and, and, and the reason I say that is that uh, whenever you're being recognized by your home state, and being recognized with a lot of people that has already gone in before you, uh, it has to be an honor because a lot of the people that's in there are known. Well, as I stand here, it's uh, pretty amazing that I'm even here. And, and I know that um, this recognition that I'm being given um, is something that could never have happened without a lot of people being involved. The athletic director, Jim Jarrett, and the president, Al Rollins, at the time I was at Old Dominion, without them, I wouldn't have been the coach at Old Dominion. I'm very much aware that uh, this is a group effort. We, I've had some great coaches, some great athletes, and of course, always the fan support was terrific at, at ODU games. So there's a lot of people to be to thank and to recognize, and I'm just really, really appreciative and, and honored to be uh, recognized in this way. I really am uh, tremendously honored and, and, and humbled by this. Um, I do think it's a reflection of all the people I met and I hope also it's a, a show of respect for uh, the profession of athletics media relations and all the folks that work behind the scenes, work very hard, work many, many hours. I hope it's a reflection on the good work that, uh, that they do. I feel great. Uh, when my college coach called me, Dave Robinson, and said, big fella, I think I got something for you. I said, what? He said, Virginia Hall of Fame will induct you. I said, that would be a great honor. And uh, it happened. Well, first off, I think sports in some way, shape, or form is 90% of America's hobby. Uh, I don't. I think 90% of America in some way has something to do with, with athletics uh, in their life. And um, when you can have sports figures that uh, you can look up to, be it as an adult or be it as a child, uh, and see the things they've done to achieve their goals and the hard work they've put in. It's, uh, it's a good reminder that uh, you, know, you can do anything when you put your mind to it.